Concentration and Polarization The pressure-driven fluid flow through a selective membrane convectively transports solute towards the membrane surface. The partially or totally retained solutes will accumulate in a thin layer adjacent to the membrane surface, generating a concentration gradient, that is to say, the solute concentration near the membrane surface is much higher than that of the bulk feed solution. As a consequence, a diffusive flux of solute back to the feed bulk appears. The solute builds up at the membrane surface until the equilibrium between diffusive and convective solute fluxes is attained. As a result, the solute concentration changes from a maximum at the membrane surface to the bulk as illustrated in this figure. This phenomenon known as concentration polarization. Concentration polarization increases resistance to solvent flow and thus is responsible for the water flux decline observed in many membrane filtration processes. It is strongly related to the osmotic pressure rise, increase of resistance to permeation such as gel formation, and fouling susceptibility. It might also change the membrane separation properties for instance, due to surface charge variations. Concentration polarization cannot be avoided in the membrane process, but it can be minimized by various methods. The extent of concentration polarization can be reduced by promoting good mixing of the bulk feed solution with the solution near the membrane surface. Mixing can be enhanced through membrane module optimization of turbulence promoters, spacer placement, or by simply increasing tangential shear velocity to promote turbulent flow. The prediction of the concentration polarization is required for the design and operation of pressure-driven membrane systems. However, the experimental determination of the solute concentration profiles in the polarization layer still presents many limitations. There are several theoretical approaches investigating the concentration polarization by models. Thank you.